Hello fellow chatbot lovers, I'm Simon from Como, formerly known as MOCRM. Welcome back to our channel. Now, creating a chatbot or a salesbot as we like to call it in Como is a big task, but it doesn't stop there. After setting up a chatbot, you'll need to set up triggers to activate it. Now, without them, the bot will not launch. In this video, you'll learn all about chatbot triggers and how to set them up in Como. Now with Como, you can build chatbots for any occasion, fulfilling every potential need your business might have. But each of these bots will have different scripts and sets of actions to accomplish their purpose. This means the functionality of your welcome bot, for instance, will differ from that of your weekly newsletter bot. So how do you ensure each chatbot gets activated when the time is right? The answer is chatbot triggers. Now think of triggers this way. A lead sales stage has changed. Okay, that's the trigger. So the sales bot sends an email and updates the contact details in your CRM. That's the action. Say it's your event day, the trigger. So the sales bot sends a reminder message. That's the action. A lead gets a VIP tag, the trigger. So sales bot notifies the admins, the action. Now, to understand better how it all works, let's take our web agency as an example. One of the most amazing things about chatbots is that they get to greet your leads while you're away. Whenever a new lead gets in touch with you, a friendly chatbot not only replies to your lead immediately, but also collects all the necessary information about them. This way, any sales rep can join the conversation and have the whole picture in front of them with everything they need to close the sale. Another important element of any sales process is getting the leads feedback to understand and identify problems in your business. A very simple way to do this is to set a Net Promoter Score Bot. Now once a conversation with the lead ends, our chatbot gets activated and starts requesting leads to evaluate the quality of service. Now this customer seems to be very satisfied with our service, so great job to the team. Our next example. The sales bot is also responsible for keeping the leads and customers warm. Thanks to triggers, our leads receive reminder messages about our special offers every Monday at 9 a.m. This allows them to save big on our services. I've shown just a few examples, but in reality, there are countless ways you can make use of your chatbot triggers. The key to success here is to learn how to maintain, improve, and most importantly, optimize it. But before we start, please make sure to click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Okay, have you done it? Great. Now, I'm ready to show you what kind of sales bot triggers we have in Como and how to set them up. Let's do this. Now, there are two ways to set up triggers in Como. Number one, in digital pipeline, and number two, in communication tools. We'll start by going to settings and clicking communication tools. Here, you'll see a couple of options for setting up salesbot triggers. Let's say you haven't created a salesbot yet, so let's add a welcome bot together. Now, since we're focusing on setting triggers only, let's skip the building process and just click save and continue. Now, a new window called set up the trigger will immediately pop up on your screen. Here, you need to decide what will launch your bot and what kind of leads, days or hours of the week will trigger it. Now, if you've already created your sales bot, but you haven't set any triggers yet, just hover the mouse cursor over the sales bot you need and click the plus icon. Another way to add a sales bot trigger is to set it in your digital pipeline. Go to leads, then automate. Click on any spare field and choose sales bot. You will see a similar setup window there. If you'd like to learn how to create a sales bot in the digital pipeline, you can watch our tutorial on how to do just that. All right, let's go back to our triggers and trigger the pop-up window. Now, as you can see, we have three fields for customization. This means that our bot will launch itself based on the rules that we set here. When this happens, for all the leads with, and finally, active hours. The first one, when this happens, is the condition that defines what should happen so that the bot gets activated. Here, we have four types of trigger actions. 
their pipeline. Scheduled, behavior-based, and finally, conversational. Let's go through them one by one. First, we have the pipeline triggers. Now, these types of triggers let you launch bots depending on the lead's pipeline stage. You can choose to launch your bots based on different events. For example, when a new lead is created or moved to the next stage of the pipeline, or when it's both, or moved to or created, or created in a pipeline stage, and finally, when the responsible user is changed. Whether you'd like to launch your sales bot immediately or at a specific interval, it's up to you to decide here. Then we've got scheduled triggers. Now these triggers will launch your sales bot at a specific time of the week, month or year. For example, I want to send a weekly newsletter or promotion to my leads or customers. I just select the date and set the trigger to once a week on say Monday at 9 a.m. Here my customers will now receive a regular reminder and there's no need for any manual input. Okay, let's move on to behavior based triggers. Now, these might sound complicated, but don't worry, they're not. Como has designed these triggers to activate your chatbot when a specific action takes place. For example, when your lead submits a web form or sends you an email or even calls you. Let me give you an example. Imagine that you want your sales bot to send your price list to a lead as soon as they call you. To make that happen, select when a call is received trigger, and when someone calls you next time, they will automatically receive your message with a price list. Finally, we've got to the conversational triggers. These are triggers that launch your bots when a specific action happens in your chat. For example, when a conversation starts. Let's say you've created a duty hours bot to indicate your availability hours as soon as your leads or customers write to you. In that case, you need to choose when a lead chats for the first time that day in any channel. If you want, you can set this trigger for one communication channel only, such as WhatsApp. The next field is optional. It's called for all leads with. Here, you can add a condition that allows you to trigger the sales bot only for a particular group of leads. It can be someone at a specific stage of your pipeline with a certain budget or say with a special tag. Now, this trigger is perfect to use when you want the bot to run a special offer to your VIP customers who've spent say between 10 or $100,000 on your service or product. Just click sale and enter the range. Now the next field is called active hours. Here you can set your sales bot to respond at a specific time. If you want your sales bot to take over when you go for lunch, for example, you can easily do that as well. Your sales bot will take care of all your incoming messages while you're away. And you could just leave the messages unanswered. Once you've customized your triggers, don't forget to click done to save all the changes. Oh, and by the way, you can always edit your existing trigger or delete it. So that's it. Now you know how to choose and set up sales bot triggers in Como. Don't be shy to experiment with different triggers for your sales bot and tell us how it went in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials just like this. Thank you everybody, see you next time.